Hello, everybody. Athens is the capital city of Greece. It is the biggest city of Greece. About 4 million people live in Athens. The Acropolis here, the Acropolis here is the most important site of the city and it is one of the greatest monuments of the world. Here you can see the Acropolis and the, and the Parthenon. The Parthenon is a temple on the Acropolis. And the ancient Greeks made it for the goddess Athena. Let's, let's watch a very interesting video about the Acropolis. We'll start up there at the historic, cultural, and literal high point of any trip to Athens, the Acropolis. Like other hilltop sites in the ancient Greek world, Athens' Acropolis, or High City, was both a place of worship and of refuge when under attack. Crowned by the mighty Parthenon Temple, the Acropolis rises above modern Athens, a lasting testament to Greece's glorious golden age in the 5th century BC. Grand processions followed the Pan-Athenaic Way, which was a ceremonial path connecting the town below and the Acropolis. They'd pass through this imposing entryway and up to the religious heart of the city and the Parthenon. The Parthenon was perhaps the finest temple in the ancient world. Valiantly battling the acidic air of our modern world, it still stands with the help of ongoing restoration work. It was constructed in the 5th century BC and dedicated to the virgin goddess Athena. Seeing it today is awe-inspiring, but imagine how striking it must have looked when it was completed nearly 2,500 years ago in all its carved and brilliantly painted splendor. The adjacent Arechtheon is famous for its Porch of the Caryatids, six beautiful maidens functioning as columns. Dedicated to Athena and Poseidon, this was one of the most important religious buildings on the Acropolis. This, rather than the Parthenon, was the culmination of the Pan-Athenaic procession. At the foot of the Acropolis, the ancient Agora, or marketplace, sprawls out from its surviving temple. This is where, for 3,000 years, Athenians gathered. While the Acropolis was the center of ritual and ceremony, the Agora was the beating heart of ancient Athens. For some 800 years, starting in the 6th century BC, this was the hub of commercial, political, and social life. Visitors wander the remains of what was the city's principal shopping mall and administrative center. Exploring the Agora, it's fascinating to ponder the world of Plato and Aristotle in the age which laid the foundations for Western thinking about economics, democracy, logic, and more. The Stoa of Attilus from the second century BC was rebuilt in modern times to house the Agora's museum. With so little of the Agora still standing, this reconstruction makes it easier to imagine the site in its original glory. Crowds would gather in shady porticos like this to shop, socialize, or listen to the great philosophers of the age. In fact, Socrates spent much of his life right here, preaching the virtues of nothing in excess and urging those around him to know thyself. The Temple of Hephaestus, one of the best preserved and most typical of all Greek temples, dates from about 400 BC. Like the Parthenon, it's constructed in the simple Doric style. It housed big bronze statues of Hephaestus, the blacksmith god, and Athena, patroness of the city. Greek architecture evolved in stages. The capitals, or tops of the columns, were both functional and decorative. While just the tip of the architectural iceberg, these are handy indicators helping us identify the three main architectural orders, or styles. The earliest style, Doric, has flat, practical plates as capitals. In the next order, Ionic, the capitals are decorated with understated scrolls. The final order, Corinthian, popular later on with the Romans, features leafy capitals, boldly decorative, with no apologies necessary. How to remember all these? As the orders evolve, they gain syllables. Doric, Ionic, Corinthian. But for most travelers, the Agora is more than an architectural review. 
Strolling in the footsteps of Socrates is your best opportunity to commune with the epic Greek past. Naples, there are a lot of museums. The best one is the Acropolis Museum, which was opened in 2009. Let's have a look at it.
Athens is also famous for its nightlife. There are many clubs and bars that stay open until morning, so it's a popular city for tourists.